righteous Father, O God. Here we are again, Lord, approaching the mercy seat. We come in your presence, Lord, we humble ourselves. We give you thanks. Lord, we give you all the glory because you deserve it. Lord, we just thank you for today. It's a beautiful day. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that we can assemble today, Lord, and such a page on. Lord, I pray you bless and cover the union of these two people. Cover them under your blood. Watch over them, Lord. Whatever should be said and done, said and done to your glory. Help these two people to put you first. The right to set strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Great is your faithfulness towards them. So Lord, I pray for your mercy. I pray for your covenant. And I pray, God, whatever they do, they will put you first because you are God and above all other God. Cover us with healing. Bless everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This hearing from Ephesians 3, verses 22 to 30. Ephesians 5, 22 to 30. Why submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of our body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So that, so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord, the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For his cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, as they two shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Um, number 33, nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. That's the end of our reading. The Lord speaks to God. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. We are the partner, of course. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony. It is an honor to this faith in the spirit of God, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church. Not only is he Christ adorned and beautified in his presence and first miracle in Cana of Galilee. It is commended in the scripture to be honored and all, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly, politely, or reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If there be any man, boy, girl, or any other gender that has entered 
lawful reason why these two should not be joined together, I ask that he, she, or whatever gender, speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm looking, I'm listening. So did you come last time? <laughs> Alright, I'm over here. You see my two birds have some cool, so they are so they are doing each other killing their throats. <laughs> so it seems like we are in the in the clear, so we shall proceed. So I'm gonna be asking you, sir, to make a declaration for me. I do solemnly declare. That I know not of any lawful impediment why I, I the Lord James, may not be joined in matrimony to Vivian Marsh. Thank you. It's your time. I, Vivian Marsh, I, Vivian Marsh, who solemnly declare. But I know not of any lawful impediment. But I know not, not of any lawful impediment. Take time, no, 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 take time. I'm coming away. I'm going to start again. I don't know. She's my sister, you know. She's been here for a long time. So let's go there. I will solemnly declare. I will solemnly declare. But I know not. I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I be marsh why I be marsh may not be joined in holy matrimony will not be joined in holy matrimony to their royal to their royal thank you it's pretty nervous what we're working with mm -hmm. <laughs> amen their royal jades we have this woman to be your little wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. We love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health and sing all the beautiful ladies. Keep yourself unto her so long as you both shall live. If you agree, say, I will. I will. Thank you, sir. The lead march. Will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together of the God's holy ordinance? In the holy state of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, honor him, obey him, and measure him upon, obey him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsake him all other handsome young men, keep yourself unto him, so long as you both shall live, if you say, I will. I will. Who is going to be married to this man? Who is going to be married to this man? Come here, Mr. Jack, Mr. Garden. Who is going to be married to this man? Yes. <laughs> Please raise the hands. Okay. Please take our right hand from the start. Right hand. Yes, and please give my. Okay, I'm going to do it. No, give my hand. Thank you, sir. Your job for today is finished. You have done an excellent job. Thank you, sir. You may have your seat. Beautiful. All right. You can talk to him after. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to place your hand in yours. Right, and I'm gonna ask you to turn and face each other. No? Right? So I Delroy James. Take you, Vivian Marsh. Take you, Vivian Marsh. Yeah, I'm looking to her eyes. Some big man shake tears or not. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For richer. For richer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Till death. To death. Us do part. Us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. Thereto. And therefore. No, I'm here to. And here to. Sorry. Alright, tell me to you, I say, I'm not wrong. I give thee my pledge. 
I made the money. You know this way was the same way. Yeah, make it. You could do that. Alright, it's your time. We don't have enough for like I said, that's what the right is. Yeah, so you can't say it here. One thing means the same thing. Repeat after me. I to be in March. I to be in March. Take you, Delroy James, to be my wedding husband. Take you, Delroy James, to be my lawful wedding husband. I'm going to you what To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For richer. For richer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Till death. Till death. Us two parts. Us two parts. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. Do I give thee my pledge. I give thee my pledge. Thank you. Thanks. Good. Um, may I have the rings, please? Father, in the name of Jesus, I worship you today. I praise you, I honey you. I glorify you. I thank you for this opportunity that we can be here today. I thank you for your protection. Thank you for your joy and mercy. And so, Father, in my hand is these rings, the symbol of love. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that thou will bless it and sanctify it. And Father, as you wear this ring, let they wear it in the symbol of love. Oh God, and they, let they remember and be reminded of the vow that they have taken. And so God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, as even they, uh, as even they put them on, Lord God, let the blessing of God continue to flow over their life. As we ask and we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Campbell. Okay. So, there are a number of mementos of your wedding and this moment. Your wedding picture, a certificate, a press flower, and many others. But these will, for the most part, be handled only, only on occasions. But your rings have a special message and will be a special message and will be the one ever present and ever seen reminder of this hour. Here is their message. Firstly, they are round. The circle is a symbol of eternity. God intends that this union be until death. Do you part? or until Jesus comes. This is an enduring and lasting eternal union. Secondly, they are a design, be they ornate or plain, the artisan who designed them had a pattern in mind. So God has a design and a pattern in mind for your life. He has led you together and he has a plan for your future days. It is for you to discover the plan and to yield to it and live in response to his direction. Thirdly, your rings are made of precious metal. The metal was made precious by the refiner's fire. I wish I could promise you all clear skies and smooth roads, but that is not realistic. There will be difficult times and trials. They are not moment, they are not meant to rather to divide you, but to bind you closer together, to refine the relationship and make this union more precious. The last thought at this moment, but a valid one, is that all things are being equal. It is likely that at some distant point, one of you will be taken before the other. At that moment, your rings will serve as a reminder of the ecstasy of this moment and all the wonderful things that you will have shared from this moment to that. Wear them as a constant reminder of these vows and this message. Good. And I hope you listen carefully to everything that I said. Because you know, even as I hand these rings to you, I remind you, sir and ma'am, that marriage may be a match made in heaven, but the maintenance is done on earth. Good? Yes, you have to maintain it down here. Alright? Good. 
So I'm going to ask you, sir, to find the left hand and find the ring finger and listen to my instructions carefully. Because every time I do weddings, I find that persons, they do, they do what I don't ask them to do. So listen carefully. Listen and follow me. Find the ring finger, find the left hand. Where do you find that? It's the right hand. So some nervous person has gone to the right hand, but you take the right one. Good. Left hand, find the ring finger and put it over. All right, you're obedient. Good. All right. So look at her. And say after me. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Push it down over there. Let you go. Let you reach. If it won't work. Yeah, if it can't go. Rock it and kiss it and take it for them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it looks like somebody can get fucked overnight. <laughs> Alright, good. So, here's yours. For him. Okay. So, same instruction. Find his left hand, find the ring finger, and put the ring over it. Thank you. Good. Now you see, you are disobedient. I never told you to push. I said, look over. Look on here, though. You me understand what I But I will not say anything more. Follow my instructions. You will not hear my voice tell you to push anything after this. Only today. All right. So look at it and say, with this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Now you can push it down. Make sure it goes. Good. Uh, all right. Good. Seems like everything is in its rightful place. Father, through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your son, we come to you, Lord. We honor you, we exalt you, we lift you. We magnify you, God, and we thank you, the mind God, it is you who instituted marriage. It is you who put men and women together. And at this time, divine God, here are two persons who have consented to be joined together in holy matrimony. Delroy James and Vivian Marsh. Indeed, God, before they would have come together, you knew it, God. Hallelujah, you would have ordained it to be so. And so even now, divine God, we commend them to you. We put them to you, God. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that a special blessing, uh, hallelujah, will be bequeathed unto them. God, we decree and we declare, God, that no weapon that be formed against them uh, shall be allowed to prosper. And any tongue that be raised up against them in judgment shall be condemned. We pray, God, you bless that which they put their hands to. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray you bless the food of their labor, food of the womb, God, everything, God, uh, that should come them shall be blessed. We pray that you bless their home, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, God, that nothing shall come up between them. And we pray, God, uh, that when they come to those moments when they have uh, arguments, which they must have, uh, that they will find uh, that place and that solace, God, uh, where they will be able to walk through their differences. We thank you for them. We thank you for this union. And we declare them blessed uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare them consecrated uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we leave them in your care. We present them to you, God. And we give them unto you. And we ask that you continue to surround them, God. And bless them, hallelujah, continually in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Area, two hearts, two hearts that beats as one, their lives has just begun. Vivian and Delroy, today you join your separate lives together. Here we have two color signs. We have yellow and we have blue. Yellow representing joy, 
of terrorism, friendship, life, and blue, peace, patience, and tranquility. At this time, the two separate buckets of sand symbolizes their separate lives, separate families, and separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. They also represent your lives before today. At this time, you both are gonna take them. Vivian will take the yellow and then Roy will take the blue. You're both gonna pour the two containers of sand into the third container simultaneously. Watch them as they do so. As these two containers of sand are poured in the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your marriage be by the grace of God. Priscilla, at this time, I want you to take these two containers because they are now one. And at this time, I'm just gonna say, I have been at so many weddings and I've sung at so many weddings. And my sister, my one and only sister, is getting married today. Yeah. And when I look, I say, wait. After the two little words at her wedding, man. Because I've done it at so many. Yeah. And my one sister. Oh. In the silence.
Yeah, so they, they should have done that after the ball. The ball red in shot, yeah, yeah. They missed the ball. The red in shot, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, well, what do you want to do? Good. All right. Yeah. So, red is in charge. That which got us put together and let no one put us under. And so, sir, I'm now going to ask you, as a marriage officer of the island of Jamaica and a minister of religion, and with the authority so invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. For as much as Delroy James and Vivian Marsh have consented together, no matrimony have witnessed the same to go this country, and they to have given their pledge to each other and have declared the same by joining and receiving ring, by joining us, I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We call the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And you and that you may so live in life that in the world to come in our life. From this moment, as long as I live, I will love you. I promise you this. There is nothing.
Jesus, we come to you another time. We're glad you're not tired to hear your children cry. Your ears are not too heavy. Your hands are not too short. Your mercy is not limited. 
And so tonight, God, as we are here in, a, in, in, in our celebrating mode, God has gone through Father the sermon, and now we are celebrating. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, we are inviting your present here. We are asking that your Holy Spirit, hallelujah, will leave a control of our life tonight. We are praying for a blessing tonight. We pray, God, for your guidance, your protection. And so, God, when we leave this place, we will say to God with the glory, great things he has done. Hear an answer of prayer as we ask and we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Good, good, good. And today was a very good ceremony. I really enjoyed it. And again, I'm going to ask you to put your hands together for the newly wed couple. We're going to have our meal now. I don't know you want to hear a lot from me. But this gentleman, Mr. James, I just have to see it here in this audience. I tell you, he's the right choice and the right man. And it's a man. Oh, I know it. I saw, you know, I observed and I saw it. It's a very skillful man. I realized that, you know, when they were doing the sun ceremony, what he did was to ensure that he, his wife started first and he ensured that she reached first. And then he actually does finish his part of it, right? That's important. It's very important. And I realized when they were coming, yeah, I realized when they were coming out, what he did was to ensure that she get a little bit of start, a little bit of headway. And what he did was to ensure that she reach first. And then what he did was to ensure that he catch her, catch her up. Because when I think, you know, couples or ladies sometimes feel like it's all the time that your husband has to be by your side. Sometimes your husband will let you go. Somebody understand what I'm talking about? Yes. They let you go. <laughs> so for instance, if my wife and I is going for a job, what I do is to just give her a jump start. And what I do is to ensure that before she reach, I catch her and we both reach the same time. And I tell you, we just laugh and we just scream. You know what you know what I think that Mr. Josh? Yes, man. So put your hands together for Oh, you're, 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 I said you're a skillful yeah. man. Yeah. Right. And I'm going to pressure you the last time before I take my seat. Just keep your brother and let him know that what I'm saying is real. Your wife. I said I'm going to take my seat now because I just need to have some of the nice stuff just me that is here. But I realized Minister Robbins was looking over, yes, that your little sister was she's now dating. Alright? Oh no. Yes. No, so what no, no, no. So what I think is that Minister Robbins, if you call her and she doesn't answer, don't call back because she might just be very busy and she don't need to talk like that. I am here tonight to toast the beautiful bride. And so distinguished guests, friends and family, I have the honor this evening of toasting the bride. Mrs. Marsh James. Wow. Oh, repeat it, repeat it. Mrs. Marsh James. This afternoon I stand in total honor and humbleness. For those who may not know me, my name is Priscilla Hibbert, and I have had the pleasure of knowing Vivian for approximately 28 years. Wow. It has been a long time coming. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm happy I wouldn't miss this for the world. Uh, Missy, Missy. <laughs> wow. uh, ever since then, we have been friends that became family. We're like sisters, but she's my aunt. <laughs> Congratulations to the newlyweds. Yeah, I would like to acknowledge the significance of marriage that we're seeing here today and the journey that you as a wife is embarking on with your husband Vivi starting today you have now gained a healthy and companion to do life with i pray that an abundance of wisdom patience and unconditional love be yours for your union i want to leave with you tonight five tips for a successful marriage when I was getting married 18 years ago, my father told me, give me five tips for a good marriage. So tonight I'm passing that on to you in a little different way. Number one, I want you to remember the me that God is. That he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. 
Number two, I want you to love each other. You might not always like each other, but to love each other. Number three, I want you to have intimacy. Are you listening, Vivian and James? There is going to come a time when you might feel like you need your space, but don't ever want to be separated. Number four, communicate. That's the key. You may not always want to talk, but don't ever stop communicating. And number five, keep foolish people out of your marriage. Surround yourself with women of wisdom and her. They will pray for you and over you. Remember that key. Keep foolish women out of your marriage. Okay? I am not making wishes tonight for you because wishes do not have plans. I am not toasting for today, but to a marriage well lived. I want you to raise your glasses, even if you don't have anything in them. Because you're going to be toasting the bride tonight. <laughs> I want you to raise your glasses. Here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after to the bride. May, may she share everything with her husband, everything, including the housework. I can't understand now. I'd like to say you need to be friends. Right. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to get it. 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 Mind check, mind check. Yeah, mind check. Yeah, mind check. Yeah, I'm going to get it for all my life. You know, when he asked me to do this, you know, I, I couldn't turn it down. Maybe you know why? Because I know that he always goes for it he wants. If he's not getting wants, he always goes for it. You know, you know about the deal? I, I said yes. You know, like you said, I don't know those steps. You know, I just like to say, congratulations. I'm very, congratulations. I'm very honored to be really a part of this. To be a part of this crowd. And you know,
beautiful bridesmaid. Yeah, man. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah man. no doubt about that. Somebody talk. Somebody yeah. No doubt about that. Yeah. You ladies are looking absolutely radiant Sorry. today. <laughs> no, look at the colors. All the info turn out the light, there will be a brightness in the place. <laughs> With your beauty and elegance, surely you have complimented the bridal party. Pretty well. Amen. Would you agree with me? Yes, man. Thank you. <laughs> you have also performed your role immaculately, awesomely. We could never ask for anything more. But guess what? I'm not going to preach here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> because I will have to cut this short. Because here or not? And no fear is them a I mean, I'm not going to be the person for them wait any longer. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I know you're eating, but do me a big one. Put down the fork and the knife. <laughs> and just lift up the wine glass. Not your glasses now, you know. The wine glass. Yeah. To the bride's face. And yeah, don't turn off on that. Yeah. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention as I make a toast to some very special people among us tonight. And they are the best man and the groomsmen. Thank you all for sharing in this joyous occasion. You guys look so dapper today. I love the shoes. Bride and groom has no regrets in selecting you guys to celebrate with them in this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses as we make a toast to the groom of groomsmen. After two, we are going to shout to the grooms, the best man and groomsmen. Sorry. Two, the after two, one, two. To the best man and groomsmen. What a, what a lovely event, man. Let me just sing one more time, man. I tell you, you know, yeah. I am not Mr. James, but I have been waiting for this evening. Uh -huh. Why? Why? Because um, I've known Sister Vivian Marsh, here as a sister Vivian Marsh, for a long time, and I've been praying. And I was having a conversation with Uncle Josh, and Uncle Josh said, I never know this day will come. But he's here, and he said, I'm very happy. So I'll put her, put her hands together one more time for the people. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Mr. Master of Ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, love the bride and groom and bride of the party. A wonderful good evening to you all. A wonderful good evening to you all. Thank you. But right now, I have been tasked with a special mandate. And this mandate is to propose a toast to the wonderful mother of the bride, yeah. Mrs. Laurette Marsh. Now, we gather here today, we gather this afternoon, we are gathering here now to honor something truly special, right? Something that is magical, something that is unique and wonderful, and it's just for us to celebrate the union of a bride and a groom. And this bride was made possible through the womb of the one and only Laurette. Yeah. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Now, for this, I did a thorough research because I want to get it right. You see what I'm saying? And I went to the computer and I did a Google, the virtual one in my mind, to see all um, the notes that I could find on Laurette Marsh. And what came to thought is that Miss Cherry, Evangelist Marsh, yeah. Pastor Marsh, yeah. woman of God, yeah. warrior, I'm yeah. not yeah. preaching right now, yeah. warrior, yeah. Yeah. mother and grandmother, right? Yeah. A virtuous woman and great grand, she said, she's some, adding something to it. I'm, yeah. I'm happy for that. Lois and Eunice and Timothy, you know, the third generation. Good. <laughs> now, the one and only Pastor Lorette Marsh. Now, she's a woman of substance, right? Yeah. One with high moral values and standards. Yeah. And it is the peace in the yeah. and Mary and the rest. But especially the Vini because she's a woman of the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Right, she's also, right, um, a, a great person, a role model. She molded, we are talking about the woman of the right? Marsh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? She gave birth to a special young woman who is the center of attraction today. Yeah, yeah. She molded this young lady yeah. to be chaste, to be discreet, to be independent, and most of all, a dedicated child of God. Yeah. The one and only Lauren Marsh did that. Yeah. Yeah. So, my, my, my friends here this evening, for her, to bring such a wonderful child, and this wonderful child becomes a princess that made her prince charming. Right. And this evening, I want you to lift, lift, not to let your glasses, but the wine glass, the one with the yeah. with me, as we propose a special toast to the one and only, yeah, 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 yeah. March. Yeah. And your ups and downs would be limited to the bedroom. Yeah. 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 Over there, but it's not for another time. Put your hands together for her one more time. Yeah. You're saying that you brought two lovely ladies, and why you couldn't bring two more? What not do this? I can do what I'm taking. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for her. And now we're going to have the two of the groom spirit. And uh, let me just say something. I was just outside the ceremony and me and I was just talking to them. And when I was very surprised, I almost fell to the ground. And who don't know them and know much about them and know something about them, they're gonna understand why when I say this and when they come up here, right? So they are not 63, not 73. But they are 83 years old. Uh, 83 years old, right? 83. 
Yeah. And let me tell you something, I have to get the number from Mr. James, because I tell you, that man will look nowhere near 83. Yeah. But coming to give toasts, and I'll just ask them to, if possible, just to stand while they're, you know, while you know, the toast is being given because I wanted to see it and I'm going to have Mr. James just to make a walk out here because he's them legs, them strong same way Thank you! Thank you! Yes, and he said and he said, might not be like what he mean and fought but he still have something going I like that! I like that! He said, he still have something going I said legs and I don't want to say it again. Right. If you don't get it, I'll go down. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're moving on. But why I want your number? I have a wife which I know well and I want to. <laughs> and he's putting you want all the legs to be working. You want all the legs to be working. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, if arthritis come, get it come on the two right and the left. <laughs> okay. I just pray that arthritis will come, come on the right and the left, but not. <laughs> we know they're working. Yes. Or yes. 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 Well, let me not get going further. Let me just ask at this time, Mr. Conrad, you need to come and make the toast to the bride's name. The groom spirits, let me get it right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I'm ready, my name is Benjamin Lee, so. We're not here. Uh, from, Come on, we'll uh, go your name. <laughs> All right. And uh, it's good to know I'm a good stranger to the room's family. Actually, I'm part of the family. That's right. So, I'm no stranger. Because that beautiful lady sits over there. Yeah. And some pass her up. She has to be my heart. Right. <laughs> of the, uh, I should say, aunts, she's one of my favorite. And I did not say it now. She okay. knows. <laughs> she knows. You know, um, to be honest, I've never done this before. I don't know what the toast was like because what I have in mind was totally different. Because the good thing I did. Take it from the vehicle. I said, let me come inside. Make them come work. Because I leave the toast and the vehicle. <laughs> At the same time, I was wondering why my cousin put me on the front line and said, I want the toast. Yeah. My auntie, so this is the one. You see, like you want to put your parents and I'll be up on the front line yeah. putting them in a toast cup. Because the toast will be on the way there. Work well enough, but dangerous. Because the last time I could remember, I put two slices of bread. They went to your white. And we're not ready for the bread. <laughs> so, can you imagine if I place my heart inside of that? Then, I mean, you know, something terrible would have gone. So, it's a good thing I left the person in the vehicle and said, let me come and, you know, observe what toasting is really like. And now I see that toasting is saying something about my beautiful aunt over there yeah. and her handsome husband was been together for so many years of all the days of my youth I grew up to know them together and I've never ever heard these two people honestly I, I don't I don't know if, if they if they have an argument I don't know because before my parents pass on I can remember my dad always says that um been together as a couple um, if everything the wife say, you say yes, and everything the husband say, you say yes, you say to all the idiot. There's some disagreement, you understand something? If the disagreement comes in and when it comes in, surely I'm never lucky enough. 
to hear these two people have a disagreement. By the way, anytime you see Mr. James, you see tea before you see him. Yeah, man. Mr. James, you see Mr. James. See that right now? A tea. You look over the other side, my auntie give a tea to see you with. So I wonder what really happening with these people. But they are godless people. They are loving people. They are Christian people. And I can remember, uh, I won't be laughing. The last time I, I spoke with uh, Mr. James in Old Chirils, uh, I'm not sure if you remember, but I, 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 I'm going to say something. I'm going to tell my auntie what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her now what you were saying about her. And if what I'm saying now are the words from I'm saying is not so, I just wanted to. Let's forget her. I just said, well, it, it, it can't hurt anything. It's everything about you. We see for true. The floor is It's the same old feeling. Never I'm with you. Same old feeling. What else can I do? Yes, sir. I can't go. Yeah, right. No, I can't help it. All right. He said it's in the Lord. Hey, why? 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 Hey, so you can't tell me. No, you can't tell me. Cause it's still in love with you. Because in Jerusalem, nothing much. A box, right, Bishop? Yeah, nothing much. Very cheap. Very cheap. The bury. But they had to travel back all the way to the U.S. if they wanted to bury. And it would cost them approximately 30,000 U.S. A lot of money. So they had a meeting. And on that, I should tell you also, is that the family was there. So the, the bride's family was there, her sister and her brother. And they came together and said, so, well, let us bury mommy here. 
you don't need to pay that expense. Well, the husband was determined that they bring him back to the U.S. He will pay whatever it is. And they were determined. So one day they were lying down just before they planned to take that flight. And the bride said, honey, why would you want to spend all that money? It's my mother. He turned to her and said, honey, the last person I know died in Jerusalem, the rising tree. I don't want to die. So, but I know for sure, if you bring your mother in law anywhere, you don't have to go around your turn, rise back. Can you have a good mother in law? Put it back together. Yeah. At this time, we're going to invite Mr. Aaron Hill. <laughs> so don't worry, my, my, my wife is here. And don't worry, if you want to marry a mother in Jerusalem, that's okay. If you want a vacation. Because I know I have a good mother in law. Mr. James, you know you have a good mother in law. Put your hands together for her. <laughs> of course, I am tasked with singing tonight because if I talk very deep, that's right. So, let me extend all these congratulations to you. Yes. Everybody's looking for that something. <laughs> Nothing makes it all complete. <laughs> you find it in the strangest places. <laughs>
Yeah. How could I have missed this? Vivian and I, we were growing from a long, long time ago. I remember going by Alpha, because I went to St. Hughes and Vivian went to Alpha. I remember going by Alpha to watch her play netball. And what, that was one of my favorite things, and I enjoy watching her play. I always tell everyone, that's my sister. Cool. That's Pastor Marsh. Yes. Pastor Marsh and I and Vivian always go on those evangelistic journey. Yes. As bad as I was. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to tell you the truth. I was in the church when I was playing in church. Take time. But I love the Lord with all my heart. And every time that Pastor Marsh would go somewhere for the summer or anywhere, I'll go tag along. I said, Mom, can I go with them? And my mom said, yes. You know, because she was, she's a trusted woman. She's a woman of God, and we always tag her along with Sister Vivian and Sister Violet. Vivian and I were a little bit more closer than Violet. Of course, Violet was a little bit, you know, more mature than me. <laughs> so, you know, I'm so happy to see my sister Vivian finally tying the knot. Yeah, the bus. Mr. I'm glad about boss. I don't know, I don't know you are I'm just genuinely happy for her. Like I said, she's been coming from afar away. I'm glad that the Lord prepared this man. Because I'm already telling Yes. Say, I am saved. But I am not so, so saved not to take my shoes off. <laughs> so, he already know what time it is. And I'm glad that I explain and let him know the type of Christian that I am. Because he doesn't want to drop our bags, so, you know. But he already knows not to play. And if anything, I could jump on a plane. So only an hour and 20 minutes. Nine hours drive to Tamarack. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> and here I am. If I'm based in Florida, if I'm based in Waya Waya, mm. it's one, two, three to jump on a plane and come. So I just want to understand. But I know you're going to love her. And I know you're going to care for her and take care of her. And I know she's going to do the same for you. God bless you guys. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah, man. Talk for you. That was lovely. That's right. Put your hands together for her. And I just was going to caution her. I you might be in Florida and you have to feel something is happening wrong. But by the time you get here, everything is right. Yeah. So when you take the flight and get here, make sure you call before you get there, because you might see a closed door mark private. Let us caution you. Yeah. We know all these love things going on. Yeah. Yes. Come put your hands together for her. We're happy to have you. I will get it too nice. I thought everybody will be able to do that post. You can just send a message after. But we have, we also have here from the US of A. We have Miss Sonia Clark that is going to come and pose at this time. She also flew in for this matter. Get it together for her. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished dress from Master of Ceremony. You're doing a good job. And to my sister and her lovely husband over there, Conrad. I know the March family true or church family in America. And also, the husband was introduced to me. I look him up, I look him down, I look him sideways to see if he was fit the criteria of the beautiful roses from the garden. And yes, he was. So with that said, I wish you many, many, many more. You see how long she wait to get married? That I'll be next year now I heard she divorced. I'm not gonna speak that. Because she waited this long for somebody to pick that rose from yeah. that garden. So cherish it for the rest of her life. Okay. Be God bless. Next year. Bye. Bye. I'm not the kid, no, the 
force, I am declaring twin. the boat of them down there. I said, God, 
It's just your will. Let it be done. And then when Sister Vivian called me, and I asked Marge, she said, when you go in it? She said, we don't know Mrs. I am very nosy. And, but I know I saw something in the future for them. Oh, yeah, and thank God today yeah, that they are blessed. Yeah. And when they called me and said, they are inviting me to their wedding, oh my. I was supposed to be in Canada, but here I am in Jamaica and Sister Vivian. Sister Vivian and Brother James, and you're also a man of God. God have a work for you to do, and you have a step to take. And I know you have a beautiful roses behind you. So each step you take, make them hold her hand and let the Lord guide you. All right, amen. Father in 
heaven, I honor you. I glorify you, Lord. I give you thanks for this wonderful institution, marriage. Lord, we are happy that you honor marriage. And so, oh God, as your son and your daughter have been joined together, I pray, dear Lord, that you will help them to honor their union and to honor their vows that they have made unto you. We thank you, Lord, that you are a great God and that, Lord, with you all things are possible. And so I ask that you will take them in your arms. You will hold them close to you, Lord, till they feel your heartbeat. And don't let them wander away from each other or from you. This cake, O oh Lord, that you have provided, I pray that your blessing will be upon it. I pray that as your son and daughter share, O oh God, this cake together. I pray, Lord, that it will be sweet, not only to their mouths, but Lord, I pray that their marriage will be a sweet one. I pray that your Holy Spirit, O oh God, will breathe on this cake. And I pray, Lord, that, O oh God, even as we share, O oh God, you will bless us also. Help us to continue to pray for them because, Lord, prayer will take them through. Bless us again, we pray, for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you. At this time, we're going to have the unveiling of the cake. We invite at this time the honor of the bride. All right, let's go. Here, make sure that Justice East and all right, so two side more right here. Right. Alright, so we got it right? Okay, so after the count, everybody count. We're gonna see that beautiful cake. One, two, three. Everybody, it's beautiful. Get your hands together. Thank you, thank you. Tell them as they come back and take your seat. And then, at this time, we're going to invite the bride and the groom as they eat. And this is just the cutting of the cake. Unfortunately, we won't see the other cut. This is the one that we're seeing now. Right? So we're not privileged to that. So they're going to cut the cake after the count of three. Right? Everybody in count with me. One. Hold on, I'm not making a count in a count. I can't count no other time now. I know I last time when I didn't count that time. Right? So count. One. Two. Two. Three. Put your hands together for them. Yeah. And Sir James. I don't know if you can wear a probing, you know about bird feeding. So what I'm going to ask you to do is just to... So this man now tell you, he's a he knows what to do. So sir, I'm going to ask you just to... Yeah. I just start, I don't know what to do, right? And Sir James know the portion, you know. Don't worry about it. He know the portion. He know what signs to give, right? You ready, sir? I don't know what to talk. I'm talking about cake, right? Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going to know, give your bride a portion that he thinks you deserve at this time. No, hold on. What are you saying? Sir, listen, listen, listen. I tell you, I tell you, I told you that I, my father used to be a speaker. I'm not seeing it for a while. So I'd like to see that again. Speaker and feed, uh, don't feed whatever you want. Yes. 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 Yes.
and his wife, Valerie Robinson. Yes. I want to say a special thank you to Julia for putting us together. I want to say thank you to Atricia. No, man, just thank everybody, man. No, when I say this, I want to say to you, I'm to, I thank everybody, but I'm pointing out these people because this lady, she put me on the spot. That if I didn't do this today, I tell you something, I would have come with all kind of plastic over my head because she said to me, I don't wear hat, but I wear spiky shoes. I'm not afraid to take it off. Yeah. What's your name? Special thanks to everyone that participated. I don't know your name individually, but Sister Shana. Sister Shana. Sister Shana, I thank you. I want to say thank you to. My best man, Brian Scott. I know him for years. Yes, for years. I want to say thank you to my my first cousin, Conrad. Yes, thank you. I want to say thank you to my brother-in-law, brother Bruce Freeman. And I want to say thank you to my good friend, Eddie. Yes, Thank you. He always present me as his teacher. That's my student. Bless God. I want to say thank you to our photographer. And I want to say a big thank you to the staff of Waterfall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put your hands together for them. I want to say thank you to Mr. Music Man. Yes. And I want to say thank you for those of you who have traveled near and far, who have traveled from overseas. Yes, to be here, to make an effort to be here. I know in this time and season, the tickets are not cheap. They're not cheap. For, some, for you to be here, you have made a sacrifice. And I want to thank you. I want to say thank you again. Pray for us, my wife and myself. We're going to need your prayer. You what I said? Yeah, man. Because when I was praying, I prayed to God and I said, I need a, I said, God, I need a, I need a woman in my life. I want her to be like the moon. Now whenever the night comes and she shines, I must always know where to find her. Yes, I said I want her to be like the sun that shines and remind me that my dark season are over. Yes, I said I want her to be like the rainbow that will remind me that the promise of God is still with you. Yes. And I also want her to be like the rain to remind me that my harvest is coming. God bless you tonight. And God cover you to your respective places. And I want to say a big thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of my wife, myself, thank you.